All right, everyone. Hello and welcome back to the channel. All right, now here is a video that my good friend Henneman sent me. And Henneman, thank you for the video. I truly enjoyed it, and I'm sure everyone else will enjoy it as well. Now, the video deals with the queen bitch, Reagan Benson, and her bitch boy, Christopher Cordova, as well as uh, Sour Tea is in the picture. Now, mind you, uh, in this video here, uh, they are going to get a taste of their own medicine. A citizen, uh, apparently, who is very familiar with them from the council meeting, uh, happened to see that they were uh, harassing that uh, that van that they uh, Sheridan, the city of Sheridan, uses to uh, uh, catch speeders or whatsoever. Again, as we all know, uh, Christopher, as well as Reagan, they have a hard-on with Sheridan because Sheridan is putting their foot down with them, okay? And doesn't put up with their bullshit of uh, recording inside of City Hall. So they will do just about anything to show Sheridan that they're not happy with them. And so be it. Let the fight I continue. Let Sheridan have the nerve to continue to fight these uh, so-called freedom fighters because uh, truly I've seen other cities give in to these guys after getting uh, being overwhelmed with phone calls and they give in. And you can't give in to these guys. You have to fight them back. Now again I say most of you guys will enjoy this video. Whenever you see frauditors getting a taste of their own medicine, it is so enjoyable guys. Guys, let's get into the video and let's start enjoying it. Sheridan is a bunch of fucking bullies, is what they are. Bottom line. There is a reason that we keep ending up out here. The more we research, the more we try to understand why they are so intent on hiding, the more that gets brought to the surface. Go in there, ask how many gift cards we have to buy to ask that van to go away. Guess what, you guys? This business itself doesn't get a choice, okay? And we're gonna talk about that more later, okay? Because uh, Denver Metro Audits, I'm sure we'll be putting that story together because it has to do with the deception of the city of Sheridan. They want to sit here on private property, I'm assuming, thinking that, I don't know, that they're not going to be approached, that they're doing this business a favor? I don't think so. All right, so let me just pause the video here and let me make a comment here. Whereas uh, I understand most people are not happy with traffic enforcement, okay? I myself, I'm not a big fan of those offices that go around um, giving tickets out, but I think we could all agree that there are people out there that should not be driving. And uh, yeah, you can give them a warning here and there, and uh, just some people, the warning don't mean crap. They'll be back at it doing the same crap again. So technically, you know, when you get hit with a fine financially, that is supposed to make you uh, think twice about doing the crap again. And there are people that will still do it again. So it really, it is what it is, okay? Now, as we all know, this van is normally parked on public property. And Christopher makes a big effort in standing behind the van uh, to block the radar gun, okay? And technically... Uh, every video that I've seen, he has like four or five videos of him uh, screwing with this van. They can't do nothing because he's standing on public property, okay? So normally the van has to drive away, okay? And he feels like he accomplished something. Now, some people get off on it. They feel all right. You know, he stopped that, uh, uh, that traffic uh that speed trap, if you want to call it that, uh, stopped it from continuing to make money or uh, targeting people that are speeding or whatever. But let's be realistic. Again, I'm going to say, and I hate sticking up for this shit, okay? I've gotten a ticket here and there for speeding, okay? But anyway, I think we could all agree that it is a, uh, a needed uh, 
It's needed, period, okay? So do you realize that she is picking up on what the city is doing now? They're parked on private property. Now if that individual who's uh, running the radar is, uh, if Christopher gets into his harassment, because you see where he's standing at now, technically uh, Christopher would stand like a foot away from the back, uh, the back of the van. And now he can't do that shit, okay? Look where he's standing at. He's way on the other side of the parking lot, okay? So apparently uh, the city is... Um, thinking ahead and i hate sticking up for this shit because again i say i'm not a big fan of uh traffic enforcement but i think we all know it is needed but isn't it funny how these frauditors uh it, it bothers them when they know that they can't harass that van no more ain't that some shit and now they want to go and donate. They want to spend money in that business to turn around and twist that business to tell the van that it has to leave. That is some shit. This queen bitch truly thinks that she has some power. But let's get back to the video. I just wanted to break that down for you guys. So if you are in the Denver metro area and you happen to be coming down federal and you know that this is a crock of bullshit and you see it sitting outside this business please stop in here and do business with these folks please uh deborah's manning the van She's conveniently parked right in in the drive of this of this business. So yeah, Jay Browning apparently they can just park wherever the fuck they want because they're Sheridan. And they do what they want. Oh, is it? Oh, is this that Camacho asshole? Oh, it is. This is that uh, asshole that comes to city council and wants to get aggressive. Hey, why don't you get your ass in there and spend some money? What the fuck are you doing, fucker? The fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? What the hell is he your came problem? up on you? You think we're afraid of you, fucker? Is that what you think? Why don't you go in there and spend some money, Mister City Man? Do go spend again. some money. Do it again. Come up. You're here to again. support your fucking revenue scam and fuck this business over. Fuck you, fucker! Record it all! Record it all, motherfucker! Record it all! Record it all! You think we're afraid of you? You think we're afraid of your fucking camera? should climb in the van with her this is the guy that comes to the city council meetings and harasses everybody all right let me jump in here real quick because i couldn't let this one go by here reagan is making comments about this is the individual that goes to the council meeting and harasses everyone and that's pretty much them when they go to the council meetings okay i've seen this guy before in other videos the man lives in the city of sheridan okay so he is involved in his city now who's going to those council meetings to harass guys uh the individual who lives in the city and that is involved in his city or these jackasses that uh don't live in the city of Sheridan and they go over to those council meetings to intimidate the council members. So I find it very funny the shit that just came out of her mouth. Think about it. It's truly funny. Wasn't a good look, sir. You just yeah, that's like crime. You that's harassment. Yeah, that's harassment. You went running after me. Yeah. Yes, that's you exactly fucking fool. You got on the live. You stream. fucking it's fool. On the live stream. Keep standing right where you're standing. Stupid fucking moron. Right this this guy's name is Camacho. He and his wife are on the public sign-up sheet. 
You think I'm afraid of you, motherfucker? Huh? I ain't afraid of you. Wow. Hey, what the fuck you doing, bud? Fucking get in her face like that. What's wrong with you, man? Standing in front of the camera, you dumb fucker. He's trying to touch me. You're harassing right now, sir. You're harassing us. We're giving you your only warning. You are harassing us, and you better stop it. That's cool. You're helping us. Uh, Help Deborah get home, you fucking moron. He's a fucking predator. Stay out of my space, motherfucker. Stay out of my space. Stay out of my fucking space. Like a fucking rabbit animal. Hey guys, we, we told you you're harassing us, right? PRS 18-8-111 is following someone around in a public place with the intent to alarm or annoy. So you're committing harassment right now. All right, so let me jump back in here. And I'm taking a guess that most of you guys are hearing Christopher quote statues. I'm sure you guys have seen videos of Christopher want to quote statues to people. He wants to sound important. He wants to sound like he knows the law. Now mind you, uh, when these frauditors are out there aiming their cameras at people and screwing with people, they consider that journalism. They consider that they're exercising their freedom of press, freedom of speech. But now do you notice that when another citizen does exactly the same shit they're doing, now all of a sudden here you have Christopher quoting statues that it's harassment. Harassment. <laughs> now I've seen other videos of citizens uh, uh, giving the frauditors a taste of their own medicine. And again, I think we could all agree that it is truly a one-way street attitude with these guys that uh, the people that like aiming cameras at other people and splattering their images on social media, when it's done to them, they truly get bent out of shape. The bitch, the bitch in them comes out. <laughs> This fucker lives in Sheridan and he's too stupid to know that this business keeps Sheridan alive. And he thinks this fucking revenue van is how to keep Sheridan alive. So he's gonna fuck this business over. You're a fucking idiot. You're a piece of shit.
Stay back. He tries, he, he goes for the women. Because he's a fucking creep. definition of putting a camera in your face. You're the definition you of it. literally putting your camera in our face. You're getting inches from us, which is an intimidation factor, right? The tactic of your He grunts. Uh, uh. That's how he communicates. Uh. Dude, go home if you got to take a shit. Don't shit your hand. pants out here. I mean, it ain't worth that. <gasps> Go home and take a shit. Back the fuck up. Come in my space any closer, and I'm going to use self-defense, motherfucker. All right, so I think we could all agree that uh, the queen bitch here is truly a mental case. Truly a mental case. And I could see her going hands-on with this guy, okay? Again, I say she uh, uh, she must not be getting it at home, if you know what I'm talking about. And no disrespect, lady. Not trying to be uh, disrespectful in any way. But uh, when I was involved with my ex, for 13 years I was with her. And um, we had a very romantic relationship, okay? And I mean, I never, never got bored of her, never even thought about looking at another woman. She did it for me, okay? And, um, you know, when you got the, the right person and they're doing right by you, uh, I wouldn't be out there doing this bull crap. I'd be at home with mines, okay? So, again, I say, apparently Reagan's husband is not uh, doing it right, okay? Well, she'd be at home right now doing the nasty, okay? And, again, ladies, I'm not trying to be nasty or disrespectful. I'm just pointing out that Reagan is not getting uh, the right amount of love from her husband. Ha, <laughs> ha, He stops his recording. Hello. Now he speaks. Ooh. You can't grunt when you answer the phone. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, he's trying to get Martinez out here to stroke his dick. <laughs> hey, the dick stroking takes place back at the cop sh you fucking weirdo. The sword fight is on at the municipal center, you fucking idiot. Straight up fucking harassment. Charging after her like that? Think that you could just charge up on women like that? All intimidating? What's wrong with you, man? Look at this fucking what freak. Wrong Look at this you? fucking You're freak. A coward, bro. You think you can do that? Does that make you feel good? Trying to run up on a woman like that? All right, so for those of you that are familiar with Christopher's videos and you've watched those videos of him interacting with the uh, female public employee or female police officer, female in general, okay? I'm sure we've all noticed, Christopher, how much of an asshole he is with females, okay? And can you believe the shit that just came out of his mouth telling this man how does he feel about how he uh, ran up on sour tea there? 
okay? I don't understand it's his girlfriend or whatever, but the way he makes it sound. She's a female. She's a lady. How did that make you feel? And those are questions that he should be asking himself. Because, I'm guys, I've been watching this guy. I've done a bunch of videos on Christopher. And I could tell you uh, uh, videos that had me, my blood pressure running because the way he treated females because a female who uh, stuck up for a security guard he actually waited for her to finish doing her business at the DMV followed her to her vehicle so he could record her license plate and splatter it on YouTube this man has no respect for ladies this man is truly a piece of shit of a human and deserves somebody should jam that camera down his mouth okay so i found it very funny that he has the audacity uh, to tell this man how does he feel about running up on sour tea and harassing her this piece of shit of a man anyway that's it for the video a uh, second or two and uh let me know your thoughts on the video guys and i'll see you in my next video oh good job see you later deborah oh oh deborah oh, call an officer for this they're, they're, they're for this fucker harass i thought you couldn't approach the vehicle what happened to your signage deborah what happened to your signage? Look this fucker trying to hit me. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, fucking creep.